Warning! Spoilers! Not like it matters for this particular movie because they're rebooting anyways. In a world where DC and Warner Brothers just can't seem to land on their feet while making movies that are sorta of kinda okay, making false promises, comes a movie that does just that. Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Our story revolves around a kid who becomes Zachary Levi, joined by other kids that can transform into adult superheroes. Comes an adventure that doesn't take anything from the post credit scene of the first film, because that one was for nothing. More on that later. Instead, it goes for this Daughters of Atlas shenanigans. They really want to show off this dragon that gives off these kind of vibes. Hey! with a very generic plot and very generic characters. Well, except for the wizard and the dad. Those guys are cool. It will make you want to root for the villains and weirdly enough make you appreciate the first film even more. <laughs> you're dead. At least this movie has wonder. So if you're looking for a CGI fest to watch, look no further than Black Adam starring Teen Titans Glow Up. Disposable twos, I mean threes. Shazam Dumbledore. Avenger Society. I like that for some reason. The worm that will never do anything. Elseworlds Wonder Woman. DC. The Thunderbolts. Failure of the Gods. Just one more thing I need to do. Sorry folks, it's just not gonna happen. You know, by the time that The Flash comes out, the last three DC movies would have been all about guys with lightning powers. That's three whole movies in a row. Just something to think about.